Hey, what's going on? How are you? Brian the Divine here with you. Getting ready to do your Libra Scorpio cusp reading. That's right. Come on in, put your feet up, relax, grab your snacks, eat your breakfast, have your coffee, whatever you got going on. We're we'll getting in, into your reading today, okay? So I want to give a shout out to my Divine Squad. Hello. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. Noobs, that's you, brand new. Welcome to the channel. Hit that like button, subscribe. Become part of the Divine family. Also hit that notification bell so when I do more videos, you'll be the first one to know, okay? I'm going to leave that there because it apparently just wants to let me know uh, what's up. <laughs> Anyways, let me shuffle this up a little bit more and we'll get into your reading now, okay? For the present moment. So let's see what's going on with you Saturday, right? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. Thanks for asking. <laughs> there it is. Our Emperor. Alright, I guess that's where we're going to leave it. Okay, so that's the second card. Emperor. Uh, boss mode, higher elevation, raising your vibration. Could be a business. You know, something like that. But what do we got here? Knight of Wands. Ooh, okay, so a couple things. You could be taking action to actually start a business, right? Entrepreneur, boss mode, you know what I'm saying? Knights are about taking action. Or you could be wanting to take very passionate action towards, I mean, this is like sassy, right? You want to take some kind of action towards an emperor. Hmm. Ain't that interesting? All right. Let's clarify all this with the first card of your story and we'll get into it right now. Here's your first card. Come on. King of Swords. Ooh. That's bold. That's like very direct communication that is protecting okay that's kind of a lot so the energies can be reversed and the and the roles can be switched okay reversed so this could be your energy or their energy whoever you're dealing with okay but this king of swords i mean i think that you want to come in towards an emperor and you want to bring this very bold direct communication towards this person we'll find out queen of cups oh okay well this is you know loving caring giving with a cup, so that's a cup of love. Wow. Let me pull another card here. I might clarify that Queen of Cups. King of Swords, Queen of Cups. Devil card. That's manipulation. That's lies, trickery, deceit, deception. Okay. Time out one second. Let me grab my coffee. I need to take a sip.
cheers, my friends. All right. Here's what we got. You as this emperor, you were in your higher elevation, right? Meaning you are vibrating high. <clears throat> and you're ready to take action. Very passionate action. So you boldly communicate directly this, wanting to take action. You, you have like the hots for somebody, right? And that somebody is the queen of, um, the queen of cups. But there is some devil energy here, okay? So that devil energy represents manipulation. So it could be them that's um, not really who they say they are. Or you could be just in this sexual kind of energy towards this queen of cups. We're going to find out. Ace of cups. Ooh. Okay, so there is communication here very directly about you wanting to take action because you're the emperor and emperors do take action, correct? Correct. But this queen of, queen of cups could be self-absorbed, okay? And, or they could be lying about wanting to have a relationship. They want to maybe lying about having a new beginning, okay? We're going to find that out. Let me clarify that devil card with my Lightseer's Tarot deck here and see what that is about. Because then I'll know if this Queen of uh, Ace of Cups is true or false, right? Right. Here we go. Hey, Phoebes, don't bump my camera. My dog. <laughs> okay, Two of Wands. So, it's not that they're lying. It's not that they're deceiving anything. This Queen of Cups wants love. They want a brand new start in romance, okay? And with the Devil card and the Two of Wands, that suggests that there is a manipulating decision, a manipulating choice. You're holding on to one wand instead of two. So, I think this is you in just this energy, okay? You're not feeling the love. You just want to, um, you know, be frisky. That's what I'm getting. But let's keep going. Good thing I grabbed my coffee, huh? <laughs> Ooh, it's getting juicy. Juicy fruit. Here we go. Five of swords. Man. Slaughtered it, right? Destroy it. Standing guarded, but possibly walking away. Emperor is walking away from a love opportunity because they're just frisky. That's the devil card. You're making the choice. You're making the choice to walk away from the Queen of Cups who wants love. But you boldly and very authoritatively as the emperor coming in is with this passion, this romance, this sexual energy. This is bananas. This is, ooh, this is dirt, juicy dirt and drama. Bring it. Hermit. Hermitized. All right. Like, it never fails for me because I'm a professional card dropper. Okay, I do drop cards on the floor, but I do pick them up. Also, I always have to be interrupted by my beautiful dog over here who always wants to be let out as I am doing your readings. So, if you hear extra noises, it's just the AC fan out here cranking, maybe the highway right there with the trucks. I'll be right back. She's a lab husky mix, so she's got to be all up in the business, okay? Checking everything out, making sure everything's copacetic, okay? So you got the hermit, right? Hermit is like analyzing situations. It's going within, finding the light, okay? And the light is turning the back on this, so you haven't really analyzed the full situation about this Queen of Cups. Who wants love? Because you're just steady focused on... Um, you know, one thing. And it looks like you're walking away. Okay. Without doing the inner work. Without looking at the whole picture. 
seven of cups because you're <laughs> you're basically like this okay i'm the emperor i get what i want that's the devil card energy that's the manipulation so when the queen of cups wants to give you this new romantic beginning you're walking away because you're too busy analyzing options scenarios different avenues to get what you want wow that's pretty right in your face let's keep going yeah you're leaving them out in the cold five of pentacles wow emperor aren't you a little bossy and sassy today huh a little bit mm -mm. Okay, well, let's just flip the script for a second. Let's rewind this. We'll put that over there in this corner. And we'll get another one out here. And we'll look at it. You could be... You could be standing defensive against this Queen of Cups who wants to give you this romance, right? Because you only came in with this passion, right? You're not about the romance at this moment, right? And so you're you're analyzing options to maybe leave options out in the cold, right? Maybe you don't want options. Maybe you're figuring out that this person might be what you need. I'm not sure. Because the Hermit's looking at the, the Seven of Cups. You could also be analyzing your own emotions and having mixed emotions about maybe cutting this person off, walking away, being defensive, I'm not sure. It's a little hazy, but I want to. Let me get a clarity card on this Five of Pentacles. And the Seven of Cups. Okay, we'll do both. Ten of Swords. Wow, that's like backstab, betrayed. Or you could be, uh, you know, in your mind because swords is about your mind and your communication. Tens are completions and endings. So you could be looking at this as ending any kind of options because this person is really coming in with love who maybe you think is tricking you and manipulating you. So now you're going to have a choice and your choice is just to stand your guard, analyze other options, maybe this situation as options, you might be ending that in your mind to change your uh, stability or leave them out in the cold. So here comes your verifier with this five of pentacles. You are definitely analyzing your options. You're going to leave this person out in the cold because you're that king of pentacles now. You're sitting there alone, uh, focused on one thing. Which over here is that nine of wands, that passion, that romance, that sex. So it is you in the manipulating energy, not them. Thank you for the clarifying. Let's keep going with the story. Wow. Yeah, so you're walking away because you're you're realizing you have other options, right? And and you just not having it. Right. Wow. <laughs> Boom! Well, you're walking away from not only love and passion and, 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 and romance. This is heat. This is fire. This is like all kind of what you want. But you're too busy looking at options. Wow. Okay. What's this? Judgment. You call judgment on this. You call judgment on this Ace of Cups and this Ace of Wands, who this Queen of Cups wants to give to you, but you're too in this energy of passionate driven, you know, Emperor is kind of impulsive, right? This is a very impulsive energy. Let's keep going. Judgment, boom. You call judgment on it. I said, nope.
taking the higher road. <coughs> yep. Seven of Wands. See? Professional card dropper. But you got two. Two. All right. Let's see what they are. Okay. Hangman. Seven of Wands, taking the high road, and this is going to leave you stuck. It's going to leave you stuck just analyzing, looking at options, taking that road, leaving this person these options, which look fantastic, out in the road. Okay, you're going to just leave them there. You don't want them. You just, you know, hey, I got other options. I'm the emperor. I'm the boss. This is that self-sabotaging, devilish energy. I can have what I want. I'm going for what I want. Three of Pentacles. Wow. Isn't that fun? Because you're analyzing the options, you're just stuck. You're defending, you're being very defensive, you're, you're fighting off this offer, standing your ground. And you're definitely stuck with wanting to explore other avenues of stability, okay? Stability could be giving you this passion, um, looking at other options. I don't know, this emperor is a little arrogant. Sorry, just saying. I mean, Three Pentacles is like, you know, collaborating and teamwork as well. So, it's like you're stuck analyzing other options that you want to collaborate with. And that's going to lead to a bunch of Ten of Swords. It's going to lead nothing but to heartache and betrayal and deceit. And all this other stuff that goes along with it. This is this is kind of what you want. That's the that's the verdict. Emperor, Ten of Swords. You're gonna be betrayed by trying to collaborate and have some teamwork with a whole bunch of options that aren't even worth anything. Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords. You're gonna be by yourself, King of Pentacles. Leaving yourself out in the cold because you're in this devilish energy. You're manipulating your own self to have this impulsiveness of trying to really passionately go for what you want, which is just that wow, chicka, wow, wow, right? All right, I'm going to pull one more card and we're going to call it, right? I'm going to call it. Here it is. This is going to happen fast. Eight of Wands. This is gonna happen fast, okay? So as quickly as this person comes in, you shoo them away, you say, no, thank you. Uh, you're not what I want, I need something better. Don't forget, four queens equal an empress. So you are in this emperor energy. Now you don't know what else this queen has got. So she could be evolving and elevating in her vibrations to become the empress. And you're definitely leaving this person out in the cold. You're leaving the idea of a very romantic, passionate, loving, brand new start with this person because you called judgment and said no. So you're deciding to fend that off. You're deciding to stay stuck, analyzing options that are only going to betray you, leave you out in the cold, and you're going to be single and just by yourself. Because you're choosing to collaborate. That's just <laughs> you want. The teamwork that's going to come for you with this options is just going to be more heartache, more betrayal, more deceit. And it's going to come in fast. How do you like that? That's been your read, my friends. I'm going to leave it there. Good thing I pulled some couple clarity cards on here because it looked a little uh, either way. But it's very clear. So that is your message, my friends. Take it, leave it, however it fits. If it ships, then it's yours, okay? Tell your friends, tell your neighbors. 
tell everybody about my channel. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit those buttons. Hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell. Bing, bing, bing. I know I do another video. You'll be the first to know. Have yourself a safe and fantastic weekend. Enjoy yourself. Think about this message. Peace and prayer, my friends. See you again.